everyone, welcome to Connected. I am here after seven days. I hope you had a great day and you are ready to enjoy your weekend. My name is Fabiana Espinosa and I'm going to guide you through today's journey. Don't forget that you not only see us through Abby Ayala channel, but you can also follow us through Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. There is no doubt that among the billions of people that live in this world, we have different languages, we have different religions, we have different beliefs. Well, there are several things we can list when we want to find differences. But there is one area where we all connect in the same level. And this is when uh, our human side, right? This is more tangible, for instance, when we connect with nature, when we uh, see families together, when we um, see people that uh, just are uh, sharing the togetherness that it means to be a human being, correct? As earthlings of this earth, we do share that those moments and those emotions where we all know where we come from or where we all wonder where we come from or where we're going to. Um, I want to find there is a special aspect where we all get vulnerable and most of everybody loves. It's the act of listening to music. For instance, when you are listening to the music you like or to the music of your preference, then it's a moment when you are at the, um, in, in connection with your feelings. And that's exactly what we want to talk about today. I want to bring together fusion, um, the acceptance of other cultures and music. And in order to do that, I have a special guest. He is music himself. He is a natural, he is a musician that has been practicing his music since he's six years old. His name is Amado Espinosa. He lives in Kansas City, US. And today we're gonna have the pleasure to have him here and learn from his experience and from his music. I will be right back with our interview. Don't go anywhere, stay connected. Today, I have the pleasure to present the one-man band, Amado Espinosa. Hi, Amado. I am so grateful to have you here today. So, as we heard about your background, you go from one instrument to another. I would like to know how many instruments do you currently play? Do you have any favorite? Hello. Thank you for the invitation. So. I play more than 40 instruments from different countries and my favorite instrument is the charango. The charango is a small instrument from South America, from Bolivia and Peru. It has 10 strings and is one piece of wood, but sounds for me incredible and so beautiful. I love it. I see. And from these uh, 40 plus instruments, do they all go from uh, strings and flutes and guitars? What what are they go from? Oh, um, this instrument is uh, from. Uh, I want to say it's very like indigenous instruments. So I play mostly uh, uh, the wind instruments made by bamboo made by wood, different uh, ceramic, bones. So all these instruments is, um, is from different areas and it doesn't have like an, a specific, a specific uh, a scale or notes, the regular notes. So for example, um, I play the tarkas and the tarkas means uh, it's, it's an instrument from, from Bolivia and this instrument 
it has a specific scale, like an Andean scale. So I cannot play with with the piano or the guitar. So I play a lot of these kind of instruments. So, and the DJ, oh, this instrument is from Australia. So I play this instrument, but um, it has just one sound, one note. So it's more indigenous instruments. So I, I play this kind of instrument. I see, that it sounds so interesting, Amado. And I wanna kind of like put together the social work you do among with your music. Um, if I, I've read on your website all of the different workshops that you held in order to educate people through music, right? And especially that your, um, that your uh, mission, it is to kind of promote respect among cultures, right? Among world culture. So I read that you had a project about a museum, a project where you dedicated yourself to um, unify and gather different instruments. Tell us about this experience and please tell us how many instruments you were able to put together. So, uh, with my father, we started to uh, to collect the instruments uh, since 2000. Um, and we got more than 500 instruments from different countries. Unfortunately, wow. in the place where the instruments were, it burned. So, uh, Light, light night struck to the roof that was um, paja brava, it's a type of grass, and it, it burned very fast, like in 30 minutes. So I lost all that instruments. But I am keeping all my knowledge with the sound uh -huh. and designs and each instrument. And, and now, um, I can build my own instrument. So, but the experience was very incredible with uh, collecting a lot of instruments. So I traveled to different uh, different places in Bolivia and in, 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 in Peru and Argentina. But yeah, this is my, my story. <laughs> So you go, you go traveling and you go collecting the material in order to build these instruments, correct? Yes. Um, I, I, I collect all these instruments and we have a museum in, in Cochabamba, in, uh -huh. in Marquina, it's, it's, it's like a one hour from Cochabamba. So this museum was very huge, so we have like more than 500 different uh, in, uh, 500 pieces so oh wow but it was like eight years ago and unfortunately the, uh, there was raining a lot so and uh, in the light night they storm uh, uh, struck to the roof the root was uh -huh. the paja brava, so it burned very fast. So all the instruments burned. So I lost all that instrument. So right now I don't have uh, this museum anymore. This is such a shame to hear. You lost the 500 instruments that you had put together? Yes, uh, yeah. we started to collect with my father uh, but yeah, we lost all the, the instruments. <laughs> Amanda, yeah. I am so sorry to hear about this. Well, yeah. I guess there must be a, I don't know, a lesson or something because I don't find, why would this happen? I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, the universe, you know. <laughs> they, exactly. They, they want to teach me something that I, I, I need to learn. So, but, but. Right. Um, for now, yeah, I took all these designs, all the sounds, the materials, and I make my own instruments. So now I make my, my own instruments and I have 
inventions. I create the didgeridoo, the Australian instrument, but with 16 mouthpiece. So wow. it's very cool. And and I make another and I made another instrument. It's the charbanjo. I put the charango and the banjo. I put together and I call charbanjo. <laughs> it's a I mix those instruments. So Amado, yeah, where I do you get these ideas from? Tell me, where do you get these ideas from? <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I am very creative, so I want to hear <laughs> a specific sound, but I didn't right. find the instrument, so I need to create this instrument for play, uh, for hearing this sound. For that reason, yeah, I just all I am creating all the time. I am inventing right. instruments and and and. And the, the, the idea is to record these sounds and, and I make like uh, compositions for theater, compositions for movie. Right. So this is my, uh, my goal. Right? You are create. really what people call a natural, a natural embodied. <laughs> you are music embodied of a body, and a body of a man. Let's go ahead with the next question that I'm really interested in the way that you fusion your work, your social work with uh, music. I want to know about the Junkyard Orchestra. This is a project where you, um, I want to know, do you teach this only for kids or have you ever done it with adults? What does this project about? What is it about? Okay. So um, we create with my wife and we create the, the company, this company, it's, um, we do a lot of workshops in, in the schools, libraries, and, and the idea is the, the, the kids can create their own instrument using recycled materials, plastic, right. bottles, cartons, different aluminum foil, different materials. So um, um, I have like um, a lot of wind instruments made by, by gloves, uh, made by markers. I use markers and I create the pan flute. It's uh, <laughs> the, and, and sometimes I use a PVC pipe and I, I I make a Chinese flute, for example, a Chinese flute and a saxophone made, I use a balloon and I put and the balloon, I put a piece of PVC and I make some holes and I have the, my saxophone, my recycled saxophone. So all these um, ideas we put in the workshop so the kids, they can see they can see the, each instrument and they can create their own instrument. So, right. the, and, and our goal is to change the mentality. So we need to, we need to show the people that they can create music with something is not created for music. So they can create music with these recycled materials. And this is very interesting because the kids, they change their mentality and they right. think they can do it. So yeah, I'm very happy to do these kind of workshops. And as I, as I asked you before, is, do you also do this uh, workshop with uh, grown-ups or only kids? Oh yeah. Um, Everybody can can learn. They can. Uh, we right. teach any age. <laughs> we start like the three years, three four years old, and uh, and and seniors like uh, 60, 70 years old. So it's all oh, ages. Oh, that's great. 
That is yeah. great because really uh, most of the time when we are kids and our parents kind of like want to uh, tell us or invite us to play an instrument regularly, you go to a store, you buy your instrument, then you go to some classes and then you have to uh, practice, practice, practice. And a lot of us get lost in the way, right, of the mm -hmm. practicing. And I believe that definitely the approach that you um, that you offer to these kids is definitely um, a point to a change, right? It's just the way they are approaching and entering to the world of the music. It's just um, more inspiring. That is really great to know. And then um, let's go with the next question. I want to know if, um, I mean, as we uh, heard about your background, you travel in South America, in America, you've been in different places. So what I am really, um, I'm, I am uh, curious about how is the reaction of the audiences when you come with your music, when you come with your talent, which is playing three, four, five, ten different, 40 different instruments, um, how is the feedback? How does people react <laughs> after they listen to Indian music? Oh, so people like Indian music uh, because it's very nostalgic and also can be very cheerful, very happy. So when I have uh, my presentations, my concerts, sometimes the, the people, they cry. They're, because something is moving um, right. in, in their heart. So in, when I play like a happy songs, they they dance. So, right. but I'm trying to mix, not, I, I am not play like pure Andean music. So I mix, mix with other rhythms, like a funky music or Arabic rhythms, rock, blues, so the people they can listen, I then don't they don't feel this is very strange. Sometimes when they hear a traditional songs, they can listen just five minutes, and after five minutes, <laughs> they prefer right. yeah listen other kind of music or just don't listen any music. So for that reason, I mix Andean music with other styles, other uh, rhythms with other rhythms and also goes al among with your uh, with your mission, which is kind of like reunite and remember that we all kind of find, we can all find something that make us the same, right? Especially when mm -hmm. we find music, when we listen to music and you recognize some, let's say, some melodies from the, the, the Asia, some melodies from South America, right? We all like to, we kind of share that, that love for music. I think that mm -hmm. that's the most value that you have and you are able to put together in your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, because we, we have a lot of walls. So all the countries and the different cultures. So my mission is to create bridge, bridges. So the people, they can, they can travel from different countries with a lot of respect. No, so right. Uh, yeah, we are a human being, so <laughs> that we, we have all in, com in common. So it's only our mind is not like in the same direction. Right, and that's exactly where <laughs> my last question is going. I want to give you kind of a space. I want to ask you, what is your what is your message? What would be your message? Um, for for the for the general public because there are some people there are musicians that are listening to you and some others that are just the public what would you like to tell them and also at the end please say a hello to everybody here in bolivia okay <laughs> um okay for your last question um yeah i if you if you have a dream, and it's like a, in my case is um, I want to be a musician. So 
in the beginning was hard for me because, you know, in especially in my country, in Bolivia, uh, I didn't have a lot of support. So, and, and, and the musician life is not easy. <laughs> so, but my message is if you have a dream, you need to fight for it. Uh, right. If you if you if you need to make any sacrifice, don't be afraid to do it. So eventually, you will realize that that it was worth fighting for it. So don't be afraid. <laughs> so if right. you like dance or music or theater, do it, Nobody, because a lot of people, they will say, no, this is not good, it's, you will not have a lot of money with this career, so don't be afraid, just do it because your your heart will be so happy and your spirit too, and, and you will complete right. your mission in this life. And to be able to express your passion, Amado, thank you so much for your beautiful words and moreover, thank you for your music and for the work you do and you take with you everywhere you go. I'll give you an open space for you to say hi to all of our people and I hope you stay connected with me. Yeah, okay. Uh, hello everybody. <laughs> I am Amado Espinosa and I am uh, happy to share my story and yeah, please visit my website, it's amadoespinosa.com and, and yeah, and just uh, watch Thank the you, videos Amado. and the music and we, we will, uh, I will share all the, this talent that I have and, and I, I, I will be happy to share with you. Thank you. Thank you, Amado. You can find Amado in Spotify. You can also find him on his YouTube channel as Amado Espinosa. And of course, as he said, you can follow him on his website, www.amadoespinosa.com. Stay connected, we'll be right back. We are at the end of the show and I wanna leave you with a thought for your week, for your life, a very simple and short message. Before we try to find difference among ourselves, among each other, let's try to find what makes us the same or in which level can we connect. Another other important thing, always take the time, find the moment to listen to music, to find that connection within yourself, that moment where you project the best of you. I'm gonna leave you with more Amado Espinosa, a video clip of his, and I hope you enjoy. Have a great week, and I will see you in seven days. Stay connected. Bye-bye.